we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. Well, go on in on Madeo. I want y'all to stop what you're doing, like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms, including Patreon. That's where we put all our full-length interviews, but we also have it on YouTube membership. Y'all know y'all love to support us. Y'all love our content, so go ahead and sign up for our YouTube membership. We appreciate it in advance. Man, man, man. I got a guy here today, y'all. Last time he was on, we was down in Waco, man. And this guy, hey, man, I'm, I'm going to tell you something about this guy, man. Uh, he caused a lot of problems last time he was on my show. Man, I got a lot of <laughs> phone calls behind this one, man. But we had did a show before that, and I still found some of the footage, but it been giving me hell. I was trying to put it back together. I've been doing everything I could to put that video back together. Man, knock it out. But at the end of the day, this nigga family, man. Mike Fresh is bow, in the bow, building. Bow, bow, bow. We in this thing, man. What's up, Mike? Mike Fresh is in the building, guys. Once again, you know I go crazy when yeah, this boy be on the show. Me, what man. you mean? I'm crazy, man. <laughs> you crazy, money moves. It's crazy. All y'all man, crazy, you know man. I got so much crazy <laughs> talk behind that video, man. Niggas were mad because you talked about the fact of how when you went in the room with Boosie, uh, I think uh, money moves say you was going to choke him out yeah, and, yeah, and then yeah, all yeah, the yeah. other them could kick him and all. Yeah, you crazy. Was- <laughs> <laughs> Shout out money moves. I man, love crazy, money moves, man. man. Uh, but just let's just talk about it a little bit, man, because you being from Louisiana, for some reason my show uh, and Louisiana just click. You know sure. what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I deal with a lot of people from Louisiana, and that's from all the way from Baton Rouge, BR, New Orleans. Uh, what what Marcellus the singer was on here, he was from Ruston, Ru- Ruston, Ruston, Ruston Louisiana, yeah. yeah. Close to Ruston. Then you got Alexandria. People been on here from Monroe. You know, Money Moses from Monroe. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like the show is just uh, Texas, Louisiana to death. You For know sure. what I'm saying? For and sure. Atlanta too. Shout out to ATL. For sure. But we 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 just love what you guys bring for the culture um i, I want to get right into it man um last time you was on here we had asked you about mystical uh-huh. and mystical is your cousin definitely and it got a, a lot of people said this and said that and they was pretty much trying to allude to the fact of whatever charge he was getting he may not get out or he might get out people just in a gray area when it come to mystical right man being your cousin like is there anything you could tell us that could give us somewhat of a little update yeah like i was saying um i know what's going on and you can't really like put it on the judicial system like put your faith in their hands <clears throat> i know he gonna get out but people not gonna believe me just saying that until they see him get out you see what i'm saying so i don't even be saying that like he come he getting out Soon, so he coming you know home for sure. But the the system doing what they do right now, they taking his money. They got him back there. They done did it already. It's, just, it's another go round. Wow. So when you look at his legacy, but then look at the way that it's taunted, do you think that he'll ever be able to come back and be prevalent in today's times in the way that because he's getting older now? Do you think that he'll be able to get come back from this? I mean. It depends on what show version to come back, cause like he'll nah, never be that I guy he yeah, used nah, to be nah, that nah, big. Cause you know that was a time, and I say this a lot too, Mike Fresh. That was a time when Mystical was outshining Jay Z, yeah, outshining all Snoop Dogg. Yeah, he was at the top, outshining all the. It wasn't no Snoop Dogs and Jay Z's them to where they had a run. Dre and them had did Chronic already. Yeah. Um, this and I believe Jay had did reasonable doubt already, but that was a time, and I know people gonna they don't like it when I do this. That was a time when mystical uh, song was topping the charts, and he was better than everybody during that time For period sure. when he peaked. He was the hottest rapper at one point. He was the top of his game. But you don't hear people mention it. Why do you think that is? Man, that's that's the game. Like the game is like shadowing him out. Like his name blacklisted. You ain't really gonna see too much positive on this lane unless it's negative. They're gonna push that out there. But it's a whole like high power against him. That's what people don't understand. Like when I seen him get out the first time, I was so excited because he had jumped on that track and did it with Birdman. Him. He did, yeah. He it, it, I think he actually signed to cash money when he, he came from prison. Yeah, Birdman gave him a million dollars. Birdman gave him a million dollars. Yeah. He come from prison, Birdman gave him a meal ticket. Yeah. He gets out, what are you expecting at that time? I'm expecting him to Jump back on his game, like you know, like you were saying, 
could he do? I was expecting him to jump back on his game for sure. And he was going in the studio a lot. He he had made an album for Cash Money, but for some reason they ain't never put it out. He just got dropped from the label a couple years after. Okay, and I heard a lot of that music and everything. It was hard, bro. So you got to hear the music. Yeah, he used Did to rap it to me all the time. Play it like we was kicking it, you know what I'm saying? And he would let you hear it, and he would rap it to you, and just show you the music. And 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 for some reason, I wonder why wonder why Cash Money didn't put it out. Oh no. He let him go. Shit. He let him go. He ain't had to pay him back. He kept it real with him. Wow. Wow. Early on, I'm, I believe it was early on, um, you know, it wasn't, like I say again, there was no, no bigger artist at the time. Nobody that was doing better. You've heard him redo <laughs> Here I Go and all those songs over and over again because we'll always have those in our history. You know what I mean? No matter what he been through, those songs have a way of lasting. Yeah. And ain't nothing we could do about it. Nah, it's just nah, an edge nah. in our history, right? Right. right. Um, man, I, I just wanted to say that just to show him some shine because we praying for him. For sure. That's why we, I answered your question the way I answered it because if he do, like when he do come home, like still going to be love, still going to be rocking shows. He's just not going to be on that level that we want to see him on. Yeah, because you know those, those, those are some serious things, man. When you start thinking about the things they're accusing him of, um, even if when your name has been around that circling around that so many times, yeah, it's over people it. just give up too because they like man. Some guy, if, if it's smoke, there's got to be fire somewhere. For sure, for sure. Yeah, you yeah. know, but love that guy, man. Love him, and you know, love to see him when he when he's in his right element and doing the things that he do, does for best sure. for our culture. You for know sure. what I'm saying? For sure. Um, what do you think about when you look at today? Okay, and I'm gonna get into a little bit because you from uh, down there by Baton Rouge, Louisiana, no right? Rice. I'm you from New Orleans, and you see, when you see Boosie, the way he's doing things now for us, more, he got caught with a gun. Mm -hmm. Do you think something going to be coming at, or do you think he can beat that? I think he can beat that. Because he already was a, you know, you know they, he, had a, he had a jacket on his back. For sure. How do he get out of that? And that was up in, in on the West Coast. I think because he, he did his time, though. No, not when they caught him this gun here recently. I know, but it's like it's like new now, basically. Like when you, if you out on bond on the case or you still in the case, that'll hurt you. But if you do all your time and all your stuff, like that's why he started back smoking. Remember, he was home for a long time. Yeah, he but you smoke. can't have a, a weapon when you're a felon. Okay. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't think about that. That's an automatic. That's an automatic. And then that felon, that that, that don't never come up off you. No. Right? Nah. So I'm just asking, uh, cause that when I seen it, it throw me off, bro. Powerful people and people with money. I'm not saying this boost, but can get out of anything. Wow, wow, yeah. I, I, I like I said, I just I hate to see him like th going through that. I seen him post about. It. I seen him talk about different things too. Yeah. Um, but he did get out of jail pretty quick. Yeah. Um, how do you like the way you see his career going when it come down to he being on Vlad TV and basically he don't do a lot of shows as much as he used to, but he does do a lot more interviews than he used to do. Right. What do you think about how his career is going when it comes to that aspect? I how love it. I love it because he come from nothing. Like I know where he come from, and I've been listening to him. From since back when, so to see him transition to who he is now, a lot of people don't last in the game this long. So I love to see Boo doing that. Doing hmm. what doing. So do you? Would you ever work with Boosie? For sure. Would you like to work with Boosie? For sure. Wow, because you know, like I said, I just know that he's a he's a dope artist and love to see what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some of the things he say be crazy but it be real you for know sure, what I'm saying sure. and it's needed for this time so I always love to hear him cut up for you sure, know what yeah, I'm saying I, I done bumped into him a couple of times and every time other than that one time was good so it's like you know I'm, I'm this close to working with him I feel like if I was a certain way I'd have worked with him already like if I demand my attention in the room and stuff sometimes I'd be the fly on the wall or sometimes I'm the, the quiet person the person that don't really want to be seen until I want to be wow and I, and I gotta ask you this for a while I got it on my mind this is gonna be a tough one um, last time you was on my show, there were some things came out. Okay. People said things. People said some. I, I, I got text. I sent you the text. You message. did. You did. You was almost. You was called a liar. Yeah. When it come down to uh, the stories you told about Yellow Beezy. Right on. They were saying that you basically didn't, didn't know live him. with him. Didn't, didn't know him. I know they said you didn't live at that house. Like, 
Uh, then I had conflict. I had other people that said you did, but give me the understanding. Do you really even know Yellow Bees or did you make that stuff up, bro? I and told then the you song in your you interview. Had, I told you in your interview, Yellow Bees was my partner. Partner, me, Ronnie, and Payne was living in that house. Yellow was Ronnie's partner, and he used to come over there. At one point, he was staying there for a minute. I mean, if he wants to, say I don't know him. I don't know him, but he used to be over there at our stuff a lot. So. You know, I ain't tripping. Even on the messages, like, he made it seem like I try to use his name to, like, you know, just to talk about him on the interview when it ain't even like that. I've been knowing him for this long and ain't never brought it up or used his name. So, bro, don't even bring these rappers up, to, bro, because I don't like that, bro. Wow. I ain't got no reason to lie and say I know somebody, bro. You're not even that important, bro. Don't do that. Wow. Because I, I just thought because you guys, you know, I know you had said you seen him at the airport. I remember distinctly yeah, you said that. Yeah. And you, you know, you kind of told him to do so. Yeah, yeah. You know, showed him love like that. Like, um, I mean, because he, he, he was a, he's a patriarch when it comes down to what he's done. He's a platinum artist. Well, if he said I don't know him, I don't know him. I just been around him a few times. We could leave it at that. And... I don't gotta talk about him to get no views in no interview. Wow, man, that's, that's that, I feel you, bro. Um, so, would you work with him? Cause you have worked with him before. Him before, for sure. Did y'all not do that song in the studio together? I hate to bring his name, but I, stuff just kicked back we in. We did. Y'all was in the studio together when y'all did that song. Yeah, you, you was actually in there with him. Yes. He didn't sing you the song. No, it was my song. Oh, yeah. so you sent it? Uh, he can't. The house we stayed at and recorded in, he, he came over. Since he didn't stay with us, he came, visited, and, and got on the song. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And and I didn't realize it that you and you was half pint. First video. First video. Yeah. For sure. You was half pint first. First video. music video. Half pint was doing like little jerking videos. He used to jerk and dance and do all that. And I wanted a music video. So I hit him like, bro, you do music videos. He said, I don't do music videos. I said, bro, it's the same thing like you doing with these jerking videos. You switching clips of y'all dancing, switch clips of me rapping. And he was like, all right. And we did that first video. Whoa, so you actually somewhere. showed him, hey, you doing this, but you could do this. Yeah, but I didn't even really know. I'm just watching music videos and I'm like, I want a music video. And I see just people rapping on the camera. Like, I don't know how it's officially done for real neither. I'm just seeing it and I'm seeing him I'm like, okay, if I was rapping in those clips, it'd be a music video. Wow. And he didn't, so he hadn't, he didn't, he hadn't th thought about now, doing videos. He was like, video. I don't do music videos. I'm like, yes, you do. If you can do this, you can do that. And he listened to you. For sure. And what was the name of that song? It was called Polo Down. Polo Down. Yeah. And you basically, he done, when he done that, dude, is it still up or no, it ain't no? It ain't no. It ain't no. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of our beginning videos no. got deleted. He mad at me for that because. Like, if I used to just stop liking a video after some weeks or something and just take it down. I used to be like, bro, all my hard work went into that. I used to take you so took many it down. There's so many videos that I got took down. Wow. But yeah, I took the first, first video down for sure. Man, I I, I tell you, man, I can't believe because Harry Pine came from so far. Did you see the Up Next stuff? Did you ever? You, yeah. What did you think about Up Next? I like it. It's dope. Did actually, you, have actually you seen it? Are you on it? Or did you go over there? Or how did you know about okay, it? Okay, so I. I well, my my partner helped him like come up with like help him draw it up and like help him come up with the idea and um stuff like that. So I already knew it was coming before it even was a thing. So now when it became a thing, I asked him could I get on it. And he told me that I I can't because if I win, it's gonna discredit him because we friends and stuff. So I'm like I'll just support it from the side. But for you to even say you'll get on it, that's big because you a lot of people look at your career and know that you've made some moves that a lot of people ain't been on big exactly, songs like but you. But a lot of people but you don't still, know nothing about me. And but you still knew that I still do that in support yeah, of you yeah, and it's content. For it's me. just it's just something to be a part of. For sure. That's big, Mike. For sure. Mike Fresh a real one. You know what I'm saying? For like sure. He trying to support no matter what. For you sure. gonna have to tell me no. I'm gonna yeah, try. I'm finna pay. I'm finna pay. Get on there like, and jump on there with him and sure. hang out. Man, that's hard, bro. That's big because I like it because you you you're not putting yourself in a box to say I'm bigger than this situation nah. and I'm gonna jump on there. But that's what everybody was telling me when I tried to do it. They're like, like you too big like, for that. You can't. Do it. Why you want to do that? Like what? But you really want to just support your boy because sure. you and Ampai been knowing each other for a long for time. Sure, yeah. And you top off. And really, if you ask me, and I mean, it's a video. I could find you the video. This man say, if it weren't for me, he wouldn't be doing this. And that's what it is. He said it out of his mouth. I ain't Ampai said to, that. Yeah, it's, it's on the Spare Springer interview. I'm going to see the link. He said, if it was not for you. He wouldn't even be doing videos. Wow, that's big, man. Especially yeah. with everything he's accomplished. For sure. You know, he's a big part of the reason Big X even moving like he moved. I'm already knowing. 
Big X the plug wouldn't be Big X the plug without half pint. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Big X the plug. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, we and got then, a single out called Good to Me. Show it to my video. Y'all do? You and you and Big X. Yeah. When did y'all do it? Um, in the last year, I, I put it out in the December, like right before New Year's. How did you guys end up linking up? You seen him early on, and you thought he was going to be the man. So I was on that review where he won for the first time. And start going up from there. So like I literally seen it from like the beginning, beginning. But even after that, I seen him like at shows and stuff. Cause I be doing shows and I seen him at certain shows. He was opening up for me. I'm talking about like So he Big X the Plug was opening up for you. It, yes, sir. And that whole bumping. Yeah, yes, sir. And and it happened quick. Like like a couple months later, he was that big. Wow. And and I think he's doing a great job. Excellent artist, man. He's gonna he's gonna continue to grow. Yeah, I love I his to, song Texas right now. Yeah, that's yeah. hard. I had to get him on my feature, man. And, and it got four hundred thousand streams in a couple months. So that's big. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. What do you think about that, Mr. Jamaica? He working with Big Extra Plug. He got a hit with Lil Ron and Mother F. Uh, he's crazy with it, ain't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he keep working. <laughs> he be working he when working. everybody else tripping, right? Mm -hmm. so, so last time I seen but you, what's, you know what's funny though? How would you feel? Um, Big X blows up even more the way how he is and he turned around and said he wants you to open up for him. I, I do it. I love this about him. It's He's so transparent. funny the way how it, it flips. I do but it. But you just a real one, man. Like you don't let no situation overtake you mentally. Your ego is your worst amigo and you no, know for that. Sure, for sure. So you never let that be a part of for anything. Sure. I see that in I'm you. I'm you exclusive, bro. I ain't never paid for a feature in my life until... This Big X song. This Big X song was my first feature. I paid for the feature just to show him my respect. And it was like, okay, here you go. Whatever, whatever. You full of crap. Why? That's bull crap what you just said. I, I can't let that ride on Boss Talk. What? You told me you paid for Slim Thug to be, do a feature for you. Listen. Stop hold playing, on, hold nigga. On, hold on. I, I got that, that nigga. Up. Let me clear that up. Let me clear that up. I paid Big X out of out, out, out my pocket. Okay. I had a dude, I was a teenager, I was 12, 13 years old, and I had a dude behind me. And you're right, he did pay Slim Thug to get on my song. He did pay Big Chief to get on my song. You better clean it up on nah, my let, let me clear that up though. Nah, because you're right, you're right. But nah, I'm talking about now as a grown man, I'm spending my own money on my music. It's different right now. Like, I ain't never going to go in my pocket to work with nobody. I, I think I'm live. Like, I don't think I need to pay none of y'all to rap with me. I don't care how big you is. I think I'm hard, like, for real. So... Even my, my real first feature after that, because that was technically was my first feature. But, but my real deal, first feature you was under a deal then? Huh? You was under a deal when you nah, got that? Nah, I wasn't under the deal. This dude was messing with my mama, and he had money. So he oh. just was doing whatever. Okay, I got it. So I right, so fast forward to today, and nah, I'm going to come back to that. Fast forward <laughs> to today, my first real feature would have been mystical. Because I was like, cuz, this, this, this was recent, right before he went to jail. I'm like, cuz, when is we going to do a song? And he like, man... I, I owe you that, whatever, whatever. I'm like, bro, I will pay you. He was like, you'll pay me, man. Just give me, give me two grand or something. Ooh, ooh. I gave him two grand. I don't think he, I don't think he thought I had it. Or I thought he was just throwing that out there, like, man, he ain't forgive me two grand. I went in my pocket, gave him two grand, and he was like, man, I gotta do it now. I'm <laughs> like, yeah. So then, like, some months and months and months and months and months went by, and like, I ain't never heard from him. I was constantly checking on, it, checking on it. He ain't never do it, whatever, whatever. So one time he had a show in Houston, he had me meet him in Houston, he gave me my money back. That was when I knew I wasn't for never had no song with Mystical. He gave, he you, gave money you the back. money back. He so did. he didn't want to do a feature with you? He said he felt bad and he's gonna do it for free. Oh, okay. And it just never happened. I knew it wouldn't go happen when he did that. You don't know, he might have just been nah. no, busy. He might have been busy. With the money, it makes you feel more obligated to do it, like you have right. to do it. But All without right. the money, he's like, uh, I'll keep putting you off. All right, because if you was going to really do it, you didn't have to get the money back. I mean, I kind of see your heart cool, but anybody that's going to do it, just going to do it. He should have gave you the money back and say, hey, come on, let's go to the studio now. Yeah. If he was going to do it, it wasn't going to be no money back. He was going to do it. Mm -hmm. That's what I know my cousin. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna even lie. You wanna know what's crazy? At least you got the money back. Yo, I'm finna. This is this is this crazy too. I'm Ball Talk 101 exclusive. Cuz I love you, cuz. But say, like a couple days after I gave him that money, he hit me up asking me for a hundred dollars. <laughs> Cause he know you got some money now. And I'm like, cuz, where my verse at? But I'm like, you know what? I'm finna send it to you. 
I said, give me a drop. I had just dropped a mixtape. I was like, give me a drop. Just shout out my mixtape. And da, 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 da. He did it? Yeah, he did it. I got the drop. He was like, yeah, shout out my cuz. Go download his tape. He was like, I'm going to be on that thing, too. He was like, I ain't do the verse yet, though. I got you, though, cuz. I got you. He was joking on there. But even then, I'm like, man, you you two grand in my pocket. I probably had like 2500 and gave him two grand and left myself with Nuts. Because man, you believed in yourself. This is my cousin. Like, yeah, but, but I want to work with my cousin. Really? And that 2000 according to how long it is, accumulate interest, nigga. Well, <laughs> whenever you get out, nigga, yeah, we want the rest of that, nigga. Yeah? <laughs> nah, for real. But nah, I love my cousin, though. Like, even at the time, people telling me not to do it and everything. I'm like, bro, if this a chance to work with my cousin, I'm finna take it. But just like how you told me, you know, when you told me, you say sometimes God tell you no. That's mm. it. That's it. Now you get God it. Told me now no you get when it. it comes That's to hard, right? Yeah, for sure. But it's safe, for and sure. he love you for sure. So he ain't gonna let you go down no path he for don't sure. want you to go down. And I think right? Cuz, I think Cuz really wanted to work with me. I keep saying this, like Cuz done went through some with these powerful folks to where he don't want. Like he trying to protect me from the industry. Like that's how I yeah. feel like he was treating me. Like he loved me to death. He gonna so call me to pull up. He's like but he, he don't want me to be in this this rap game for real, for real. Like. And he might feel like if I be on there, that might stop holding him back too. Probably. You see what I'm saying? Because looking from here, looking looking from a perspective that he's coming from, with the cases he's dealt with, the way that his name is looking now, yeah. he might be just saying like, I don't want to put this on that boy because he could blow up and that could hold him back somewhere down yeah, the line. Or so. God might be saying that. For Damn. Sure. Um, what? Okay, Dallas, man. Like I said. Dallas, matter of fact, let me say this, man. Low Deezy spoke highly of you. Yeah. He told I, me about this Lodeezy. one song that. He say make the club go crazy. What song my is that? Man. My, my man. My man. Chick a beat a chick up. Man, yeah. How they all go? Talk stupid, play, get. It start off, I got a big booty chick from the south. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. She a freak for the knock a chick out, pow, pow. Yeah, so that's like, I don't when know. What was that, that? It's a long last song. When did you song. make the song? 2014. The year after Circle. 2000, Circle dropped 2013. When I say it's 23, it's 10 year anniversary. So next year going to be my main 10 year anniversary. Why? Wow, what you gonna do for the my main? Tw- you I gotta might, do I so. might give him a remix with a big artist. I might get Booty Hole Brown Girl to redo it. Wow, that's what I was, you know, what I was cooking up. That's good, man. Yeah. So that song, give me the process. That song is iconic when it come down to our hood, our spaces, in in these clubs. It's gonna get the people moving. Yeah, they got. That's play. what Lo Diesel told me. I went and found that song after I said this whole hard. You not gonna give go to me- no club out here and not hear it. Okay, give me how you even made that song. I heard the beat, and I said, man, this sound like some Webby. I was in my room by myself. I was recording myself. I heard the beat say, it sound like some Webby. I crashed out. It was a simple process, bro. I put it right on YouTube, and... Where, where did you get the beat? Um, D-Hawk. So D-Hawk is, is Half Pint Brother. Yeah, I seen him before. Yeah, so Half Pint Brother, so dude um, gave me like 75, 80 beats on the flash drive, and was like, bro, I like how... With, me and Ronnie was was like, you know, really looking out for Pint. So dude was like, I like how you, you know, looking out for my little bro. I want to be our producer. Woo, woo, woo. So he gave me a flash drive, like 80 beats on it. He wanted me to get some on the Ronnie. He wanted me to use some of them. So my main was one of those beats. I did five songs to those 80 beats, and my main was one of them. And um, when I put, when it, when it went crazy, we kind of had went through some stuff. He, he tried to charge me later on for the beat. But when he gave me the beats, that was free. I want to be our producer. I want to work with you and Ronnie. Woo, woo, woo. But then he come later on down the line because the song started to do something. He was like, man, I need like fifteen or eighteen hundred for that beat. I deleted the song off the internet. Like, F that song, bro. Like, you gave me that beat for free. Like, don't come back and charge me now. But we wound up getting the business clear because it, it was a hot song. But I deleted my hot song. Like, I wasn't. Like, wow. How hard is it dealing with people when you the producer to the artist level to that whole dynamic, how the deal fo- unfolds at the end. How hard is that when you're it's trying to It's super hard, bro. That's why I don't deal with people. That's why I like. But you have to if you let you a producer. <laughs> you know, Pimp C was a producer, too. He could do yeah. all his itself. But, yeah. Uh, and I can, too. Really? I just don't. So I had got somebody, like one of my close friends, who was just around just to be around and turned him into a producer. And he the one who made the Big X song with me. So, like, I turned my close partner into my engineer and producer for that reason. So like I don't, I really don't deal with people. Like that's why I salute Prince for like having a group of people and like running the show and having all these different people holding the glue together. Cause that's just something I can't do. Like I, I move on my own accord and like I can't have ten people moving with me. Cause they're humans. They gonna move, do what they want to do. So it's like I just come in how I come in and whatever I can't do by myself. Sometimes I just can't do it. 
Wow, I think that's crazy that, that that you have to figure it out in these days and time. Being independent, having to try to deal with each aspect of of what's going on with with your music. But I like the hands onness, but it's also something to where there should be a better system in place and a more user friendly, yeah, user friendly system in place for sure to where you guys can really control the narrative with your with your music, but then also to where when people look at your brand, they got to be able to respect it on the level we used to when they were selling records and cassette tapes and, sure. and eight tracks and CDs. Sure. I like to see that essence come back because sure. we're not there no more. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. people are doing streaming and streaming. Is, I heard Snoop say something that was so powerful. He was like, man, y'all got to get this right, man, because it's like people not getting the money, the, the, the just do that they deserve for their music and their artistry, sure. you know, and it's something that the internet does. It pulls essence away from certain things. Like that's why the people are on a, a strike, right? Mm -hmm. A writer's strike where they don't even in Hollywood. Now they don't want to even write because they feel like the essence is not there Yeah, because people are not giving them to the just do for the stuff that they're committing themselves to. And I don't think that's right because now you're just using them and taking it from them and you're not giving them the just do. And then years down the line, this great book of work somewhere is just not even scaled right, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. People not able to enjoy it on another level because they did it and now it's huge, yeah. mega. And they're not getting to understand it on that level. What do you think? Mm -hmm, I agree. And that's why you think it's, it's they tripping about mm -hmm. it? The writer's striking in Hollywood yeah. and everywhere right now. Did you know that? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm over in it. Shout out to Face on Love for putting me up on game, okay, man. Okay. He want to make sure you get the residuals okay, right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's talk about it, man. Let's let's get into it a little bit, man. Uh, Webby, he put on a shirt, a halter top. Mm -hmm. It was just a shirt tied. The people went crazy over yeah, that outfit. He, he raised his shirt up. He raised his shirt up. His muscle shirt, wife beater. What do you think about uh, when, <clears throat> when when stuff like this happens? Well, if it's a wife beater, why everybody thinking it's a uh, like a, a crop top. Yeah, why? Because it looked like that. And, oh. and he got the jacket on over it. And he mm. got it raised up. And it's it's he, it stayed up. Like it wasn't like, oh, we, he just caught the picture while my shirt was up. Like, now nah, he took Was the he holding like it? He, didn't, he, he wasn't, wasn't holding it or nothing. So it looks like that. But if you a fan of Webby, you know that nigga raised his shirt up, show his tattoos all the time. Yeah. That's what he do. And so he didn't even see that going viral. He didn't know that that was going to do that. He didn't know that was going to do that. We knew though. We, we seen it. We like, oh man, Webby. You just not gonna win against the internet. Webby say he, he didn't take care, care of kids nah, and everything. Why y'all want to take this to focus on this one? What about all the other stuff he doing? Yeah, nah, for real though. Yeah, shout out to Webby, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why he want to take that picture with me because the internet be messing with <laughs> he him. He said that. He said that's exactly that's what the DJ yeah, said. He that. said that it with Rain the other day when Rain was down there. He was like, man, you know the cameras be crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the internet crazy. Yeah. That's what he said. And that why that I that's exactly why I, I didn't get my picture with bro. But when you went to take your picture with him, it's because he knows how the internet is making him look. Exactly. And so he's like, I don't like, I don't be exactly. liking that the internet, exactly. man. Exactly. And then it was the way it was. I, mean, I told you, I pulled up on him on some other business. He like, man, let's handle this business and and keep it right there. Like, don't take no picture of me saying I'm coming to. Do this, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. off somewhere, off in the hood, somewhere shopping with me. Like he was thugging. Like he like, man, don't show this. Like the internet gone. So he was in the hood with you. Yeah, for sure. What was y'all doing in the hood? He didn't need some. He didn't need something to smoke on. He just came. Oh, he just me. came. He came through. He came holiday at me to get something. So to smoke you didn't. He. I thought you pulled up on him. Did you? So no. So so they came to Fort Worth. They had a show in Dallas, but they came to Fort Worth. I did like meet him somewhere. Like it was like a hotel parking lot. But man, he came to Fort Worth. Wow, that's and crazy. Maybe at a hotel parking lot in the hood. And basically just pulled up to get what you guys was going to do and for move sure, on. For sure. And invited me to the show. Like, if you want to take a picture, come take it at the show in VIP. But not right now. I'm right here. Because he didn't want people to see what it was appearance. He yeah, knows. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that that was cool. That's crazy. And, and you know, I be loving that dude's movement, man, to be honest with you. He, 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 do you think he still got it? Because yeah. Rainwater was on here. Rainwater he was like, he, he can't rap no more. He can't even talk. Man, he, he, he wanted them to himself dudes, like me, but for real. Like, I, I think I remind myself of him, like, you're not going to understand me unless you just know me for real. Like, you'll think I'm crazy or just, you'll think something wrong, but when you get around me, you get to know me for real, and that nigga ain't crazy. So the nigga, the nigga just, he, he just played the game. He just played the game, and then, like, Okay, or he or he not playing the game. Like he 
He was in the industry when it was good. Now the industry ain't like it used to be, so he don't want nothing to do with that. He kicking back. He living his life, bro. Kicking back with his money, bro. Like, some people don't, like, this industry so weird, some people don't even want to be a part of it. Wow. Um, so what's what's going on for you? Like, like I know you're on this big song now, but what's going on for you? Like, I'm about to, I'm about to start putting out music now, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I was not into rapping and stuff, and I'm like, I was more focused on my real life. Like, I'm 28 years old now, and I've been rapping all my life since a teenager. And it's like these rap dreams. Now I'm 28. It's like, nah, I gotta, I gotta get some other um, goals and other things going on in my life. So now I'm f I was focused on getting money. I was focused on just owning stuff. And in the midst of that is when all this stuff come about. So like my biggest song with Big X out right now, this song I'm on, and bro really looked out for me on that percentage. So I'm getting paid real good. And it's like, bro, I wasn't even working towards this. Like how this came. But now it's like, all right, well, let me let me get prepared. Like, let me go to the studio and put out music. Now people love my music, so it's like always have. Let's get it. Wow, I think you, I think you wanted a different. You, 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 you have me laughing because I know you wanted them, them guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I know you wanted them guys when it come down to it. So, um, what can we expect? Like when it comes down to the new hits that you, are you, go, are you going to die for TikTok? Nah, I mean TikTok gonna even, get closed down, bro. Listen, I don't even have a TikTok. I never had one, but my music is on it. Even Prince, Why appreciate not? you, bro. I don't know for real. Like, I'm not just that active for real. Like, as far as being online, I don't record myself talking a lot. Like, I don't be online a lot. Do you think that's one of your downfalls, though, with the way the line, uh, online's aggressive right now? It is and it ain't, because, like, my presence is there. It ain't like me saying I don't ever be online. You can look me up and see. A whole bunch of Mike Fresh, but it's not me. Like when I go around people, they might put me on something. Like, I'm on Boss Talk right now, so when you look up the last week or the last month, you're gonna see my Boss Talk come my up. Boss you might talk, see gotcha. a feature come up. You might see something else come up. But I'm literally not as active as I'm supposed to be. I know that. And I've been trying to find out how to get there, but I really be looking out for everybody else. Like the first deal I got, I gave it to Ronnie. Then we're just moving forward. Like, I always be want to take the back seat. Like I said, I be want to be the fly on the wall. Even when people know, bro, you a big deal. It's like, well, I'm going to fly on the wall right now. Or like the last interview with Prince, I ain't speak much. Or I want to be the fly on the wall. Even he said he get the song from me and all that type of stuff. Like, I ain't expect him to say all that. But it was like, bro, I'm just the fly on the wall, bro. You ain't got to tell yeah, all the folks that. Let's just talk about this fly on the wall concept. But, you know, last time, you, you, you me and you, had, we, had a, we had a falling out still. Hey, that's why Yellow Mr. Maker, me, bro. we had a, we had a falling out. Me and this guy. You remember what about? Uh uh. When you uh, said I said something about Lil Run in in the car getting somebody shooting or something, you was like, "Man, you said you shouldn't have put that out. You shouldn't." Then you went back and looked at said, "I did say that." Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. Cause like <laughs> he didn't know what it, he didn't know he had said it. The, he looked at the title team, before he looked yeah. at the video yeah, and right. called me. That's he right. never looked at the, he never listened to it. And I said, "Nigga, you said that." And yeah. you was like, "My bad." My People bad. don't be remembering exactly yeah, I what I did say. say that. <laughs> I remember that. I say, "Buddy, people be talking on these damn interviews." Hey, nah, for real. You, you right. You right. <laughs> you right. That happened. <laughs> Hey, nah, but you look, ain't the first person to get look, mad at me this, about that. I, I wasn't mad now. Well, you was kind of like this a thing. You was kind of like you wasn't mad, but I thought you was kind of upset about. I wasn't it. mad, nah, I'm like, bro. You nigga upset about this. This the thing with this, and even this, I've been in the game for a minute, but I'm just now starting to get into like these interviews, interviews. and these things like that. You're on the best platform in the world right now, for sure. And it's like even like with the yellow situation or just whatever, like that wasn't my typical interview or my idea interview. Like I don't. I wouldn't have talked about the people we talked about or I wouldn't have, you know what I'm saying? So I'm still trying to get used to that or like even sending some of these stories, like I know some of these stories are great content, but some of these stories probably ain't for the internet. So I have to like decipher through that. You know what I'm saying? No, I get it. I get it because you, you just telling your truth though. I am. And, and everything and you said has been your truth. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to cloud chase. If I was a cloud chase, I've been in the game so long, I could have been chased it, bro. So it's like, I don't know. I'm still getting used to that, bro. I'm not media trained or nothing. Like, I don't know, you know. Well, I don't think a lot of these guys are. They not, but. And I don't think it's, like I said, if you're telling the truth, then what? what is the deal? I ain't got no reason to lie. 
You see what I'm saying? If it's the truth, you're just having a conversation. Yeah. If you say, and this, like I said, if the nigga was here, I ain't gonna, I, I'm just, this is the way I seen it. For sure. So that's the way I look at and it. And I'm gonna tell you, I, I really forgot about that I told you that one. Like, I, I, I knew I told you about a yellow one when me, we were yellow, because we had a show together and that happened. But then I did tell you about the Houston one. I just forgot that I told you that. <laughs> so I'm like, man, Ronnie, what? <laughs> he called me, he called me quick too. As soon as it came out, like, bro. He just Ooh, making up stuff over there. But then when I watched something, like, bro, I did tell that story. Then I forgot. And it was like, all right, cool. But, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. But also, not even that, in my mind, I'm like, man, that story probably wasn't even for the internet. Internet. So. In hindsight. But but when, I, when I'm when i telling it, I'm just telling my truth. I'm not thinking that. But then when I see it on the title, it's like, damn, I, I, I did that. I ain't do that. <laughs> I had to watch it. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> and I ain't doing it in no bad way. It wasn't bad. Mess up, but I'm still looking at myself like, man, that's why I be like, well, you need to shut up sometimes. That's why I be trying to be the fly on the wall. But that's not, that wasn't no bad story. That wasn't nothing that was going to get me in trouble. Or nothing. Ain't none of this stuff I'm saying going to get me in no type of trouble with nobody. But at the same time, Ronnie didn't I be in trouble with myself. About it? About what? About that stuff. Nah. Okay. Ronnie told me that Yellow wasn't happy with my interview. Mm. Oh, he told you that? Yeah. I think you told me. What, what, what this is why say? I called you. Yeah, what did, what did he say? This, that's exactly let's, let's what he it said. What did, Ronnie said, hey, bro, y'all ain't happy with your interview, bro. And I was like, hey, man, tell him my bad. I ain't, you know, I ain't mean it like that. I don't even want to talk about him, but it just happened like that, bro. Brought his name up because I was in the house with y'all. But all I knew was he wasn't happy with my interview. I didn't know nothing else. You didn't know the specifics. I didn't know nothing. I didn't know. Nothing. I didn't know what Yellow said. I didn't know what he said back to Yellow. I didn't know what nobody said. I just knew Yellow wasn't happy with my interview. So I said, man, tell him I'm sorry or something. Because if you ain't happy about something I did, you can hit me up and tell me that. Because we, we probably had just said something on Twitter or Instagram. I told him I looked up to him. He said, I appreciate you. So we had just spoke. But when that happened, he must have hollered at them. So I'm like, man, tell him. I said, my bad. I ain't mean to rub him wrong, bro. But at the same time, okay, so when... When I seen what was exactly said, that one I kind of got mad. Like, bro, who bro think, like, like why he think, come on, bro, he know me, bro. Why he think I, come on. I think I would do that. Wow, and 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 you guys, for people who don't realize it, like, you, you younger than those guys. I'm younger than everybody, yeah. You the youngest one. Yeah. I was the baby, I was always the baby around. Okay, so, and, and, and so, just to come up as a younger, younger guy under that whole regime, and when I say regime, y'all was y'all was all for doing sure. music. For sure, man. That do, bro, you know how many show videos I got with him in the back with the Mike hype man, and or just back there, or just whatever. Like y'all always work. Bro, together. I got, bro. Bro, it was coming to our shows, bro. But I'm not saying it like that. Like I wasn't saying it in no way, bro. Like if bro want to say we don't know each other, we don't know each other, bro. Wow, man. All right, so. <sighs> When you think about like the Dallas movement and the music out here now, are you happy with what you see? I am. Explain. Cause I seen where it came from or just me moving here and then I got into it and it came a long way. And I feel like right now people are asking for too much or their expectations is very high versus the work put in. The expectations are real high versus the work put in. But I seen where it came from, this thing that came a long way. Hold on. You, to me, like I said, Breath of fresh air when it come down to the music here. Don't ever let. I'm a fan of yours. Appreciate it. Man. I love ever since I've been interviewing you and I went listening to your music, and then I seen you. On, I got so excited when I seen you on that bounce when she walked. Appreciate I it. I called man. my brother. I said, "Man, Mike Fresh back, nigga. We better get him on the show." He like, "Man, Mike," because you had mentioned when he look at all your videos. He like, "Man, Mike gonna go off, man. You know, Mike gonna tell this story, man." So I'm glad that you are doing interviews. Yeah. Because you need to be rewarded for the things you've accomplished. For sure, I appreciate it. I'm being real. Some people might not want you talking. They don't. I'm being real. But you can't let that bother you. You gotta do your truth. You gotta live. You younger than all of those guys that you've been with. God has something for you special, man, playing. For sure. You out here with the people now, your age doing it and having a good time. It's your time to shine. For sure. You see what I'm saying? For so, sure. man, take off, man. Take off with the ball, nigga. Hit that hole, nigga. Touchdown. Yeah, yeah, nah, for real. <laughs> Damn, man, nah, for real. So you do like the way the music going. What do you think? So Big X to plug, uh, working with him, it, it had to be exciting, man. Uh, y'all, Did y'all do a music video? Um, Nah, we ain't do it yet. I might just go and do an animated version just to kill all the uh, confusion because, like, 
uh, he was supposed to come through for me, but I know he's super busy, bro. And like, you know, I'm just gonna do it without him. I, I'm, I appreciate the feature. It's going up. And um, even though, like I said, I paid him. And even though version video came with the deal, like I said, Verse and video busy. came with the with the deal. Yeah, but he might do it. But nah, but like I feel like it was like you know he he gave me a, a, a player deal. He gave me a player deal. And bro, honestly, I'm I'm being real. I feel the same way about these as I felt about the other one, bro. It's a chance it might not happen, and I don't, I don't care. I'm not gonna get mad if it happened. I'm gonna appreciate it if it don't happen. I still appreciate the version working with the man. I'm keeping it moving. Like I said, I get an animated video done and keep it moving, bro. I done been through this already. Yeah, and you don't want to. You don't. You just want to make sure you keep the ball rolling. Yeah, 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 Your yeah, career yeah. is blossoming for sure. You did the video with with, 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 with you Prince did new. with Prince. And Prince song is but, big, bro, man. The crazy part about it is the Big X song was like the one I was so Focus excited on. about and focused on, and I put it out. And now I'm ready to get the video going. I I set up a date and shot the video. He ain't make it to the video shoot. So now I'm like, all right, I gotta get this song. I gotta get this song out. That's when Bounce when she walked came and made me say, get that song. Really? Yeah, because Bounce When She Walks is huge. It's out of here. That's why I say it went from me like, oh my God, I got a new song. It's going crazy to get that song. When I see you on Bounce When She Walks, how did you come up with that verse, man? <laughs> I freestyled it. You freestyled it? Yeah. Do you remember how it go? Yeah, bounce when she walk, make it clap, it could talk, say it, don't you stop. That's the way to my heart. Yeah, it's right on that. Uh, I'm a big wig at me. So you basically just freestyled it? Yeah, because I really didn't know what to say on it. Like, it was so, like, catchy and, like, simple is good, less is more. So it was so simple and catchy. I, like, I'm damn near finna write. I got the pen and pad. I'm like it bounced when she walked. Like I didn't know what to say. I was stuck. I just threw the pad and went in the booth like man running. And I just come like I'm freestyling. Bounce when she walked. That's why I, the first thing in my verse is bounce when she walked because I was freestyling. But you killed it. It was easier to do it like that. If I'd have wrote it, it'd have been weak. Did that, you, could you, man? Did you know when you was doing the song it was gonna go crazy as it ended up going? I did not. You did not because of my verse. Not because of the song. Because I knew. Like when Prince told me, bro, we're gonna get the challenge going and we're gonna get this out of there. I knew for a fact, bro, if they do a challenge to this song, it's gone. Like I had been trying to pay them Prince them or pay his team to do stuff for me for the longest, bro. I've been it. trying to get that that Prince way. <laughs> so when he say, hey, I'm gonna put you on the song and do it, I'm like, I guess so. It's good. <laughs> man, so you you been on the, you were like, I'm gonna reach out to him and get him to do Bro, something. I done paid, I done paid Joke, I done paid <laughs> KP, I done paid GG, I done paid, I done paid everybody. Boy, they got what? And then you slide in and do a big hit. And got on the Maybe picture. the biggest hit that they even did in the camp all together. He told me, he told me. That's crazy. He told me that. You see what I'm saying? And me. you was trying to get all through just messing with him, but God had another plan. Here we go again. I'm spending a good little bit about fifteen hundred, two grand. <laughs> man, Trying how, to get how there. dope is KP, man? Yeah, KP she baby dope. Is so she hard. Dope. Hey, she hard. Hard, hard. She a natural, cause you would think she been doing it for so long. I ain't know she just started. She just started messing with the music, but she a natural. She man. a natural, and she's so unpredictable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, cause I met her one way, and she was. The other way, most of the time. <laughs> so yeah, you're right, man. I I, I love her energy, she and I love, I just love the way she bring it. Um, and 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 like I said, you one of those guys that pick up on things, or it, for you to see their movement and know this is a move I like to be a part of yeah. says a lot about you, anyway. Yeah, you see hey, what I'm saying? Hey, look, hey, remember how we say I was playing first uh, video, right? Yes, sir. I can show you a tweet where Goyeyo say I was his first feature. Really? On my life. I'm gonna show you the tweet. So you was Go Yayo's first feature. I, I can show you the tweet where he tweeted it. It's and a, Mike Fresh was my first feature. Yeah, and, and then Go Yayo and Half Pint is two of the most important people in Fort Worth to me. So if I if I gave Yayo his first feature and gave Pint his first video, like I, I look up to them boys. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? That's hard, hard. Like, like Go Yayo when he get out, what do you expect to see? Cause I know you sent him some money. He gonna go crazy. You reach? Have you reached back out to him anymore? Uh uh. You just did at that time. Yeah. Man, make sure you reach back out to him, man. The walls is something else, man. You be people act like they don't need. I just did because you said it though. Yeah, but I'm just saying, 
if we could get a, a I'd like to write him if you could yeah, get yeah, it yeah. I, I think you can look him up I'm, I'm gonna get with uh, he's crazy cause I'm gonna get with Supreme Supreme will tell me how to get a hold of that info and it's crazy cause like like I, I've been locked up and stuff like I don't really be liking to communicate with people or bother people like when I go back there I don't be want to call people phone and all that in terms of when you're incarcerated yeah it ain't about what you want I know it's something special about the word of God says I was in pr prison and you didn't visit me. Yeah, but I don't like. Did you hear what people, I just said? I so I'm a man of morals. So because I know the word, if I see you locked up and this go for shout out to my boy Fifty Five Crip because I uh, five I put Crip money Mac. on his book Crip Mac. I, I reached out to him. I talked to him several times when he was locked up. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't for him to talk to me now, yeah. but it was just because I do that. Yeah. It's other people that you would be amazed that I've. I've sent money to and yeah. I link back up with because that's what real ones do. For sure. You don't, you, that's why I told you to do that because you really knew him. And so for you to do that, it says something. It says a lot. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So big ups to you for even following through. You know what I mean? But be, be, but that boy, I think when he come out, it's going to help the music game in Dallas. Oh, he going well, to turn up everything. You, did, you think it'll change the, the temperature? He going to turn up. He changed it the first time. Do you think his movement was what caused it to erupt like it did in, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area? I mean, yeah, for sure, but you got to understand, it was more stuff already cooking. Like, you had your trap squads, you had the different people that was doing their thing. Even me, bro, like, if anybody from Fort Worth, if, if you interview anybody from Fort Worth, ask them about Mike Fresh before the go yeah yo and half pint wave. Okay. They're going to tell you I had their city on in the chokehold. Wow. And like, that's what it was, but nobody actually knew about that. Like at that point, Fort Worth was like more of an island. Like whatever was hot in Fort Worth stayed in Fort Worth. So you had like Stop Six Low Key with the East Side Anthem. You had Spud Boom was out. I was out before them. And it was a Fort Worth thing. You had to come to Fort Worth to see it. If you didn't come, you didn't see it. You didn't know nothing about it. Okay, with me, I was Pint first video and I introduced Pint to Ronnie. That kind of bridged it like, Ronnie brought Pint a Dallas fan base. So now, when Go Yeah Yo start to do videos with Pint, he have a, a Dallas audience already. Even me, before Yeah Yo, I, I got a Dallas audience. I had a hot song called Strip Cheese and Full Work, and when I dropped that, my man, when that little DZ talking about? Yeah. I, it's, I felt like Full Work had a curse, bro. I was like, bro, when stuff get hot in Full Work, it don't leave. I was the first one that was like, okay, I left Full Work. My music left Full Work. Wow. So then when Yayo came after me, it was like, oh, like something else. Like that's with the Sean Cotton and the, like it made Pint bigger. When me and Pint was thug and Pint started getting money after Yayo. You know what I'm saying? It was different, bro. Pint was making money now. Like, wow. Do you, what do you think about the Say Cheese platform? You know, he one of the guys that you started early on with. Yeah, I was there. Did a, 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 a interviews with him. What do you think about him then versus him now? Um, I mean, he was grinding. He was grinding then. Like that bro drove, dude drove all the way to my school to get that interview because he liked me. I mean, it got to a point to where like he big now, so it ain't about that no more. I mean, he probably still go work with people he like, but it's probably more like it's more calculated. Do you respect him for the things that he done for, for the sure? Culture? For sure. I, I, everybody I'm saying I look up to, I'm saying I look up to them because of the things they did. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I. I look up to them like they all did big things. Did you ever work with Trap Boy Freddie or no? Yeah, y'all got a few songs together. We he did my main. He he redid my main. He did a. Uh, I would have remixed it with him, but he ain't never sent me the verse. He recorded the verse and then sent it to me. Forgot to send it to. Me. Oh, okay, but like yeah, me and Freddie know each other. Like I really didn't know him. Like when Yellow used to come to the house and stuff. But like after it seemed like I done been around Freddie after they both got hot. Then. Uh, more times than I've been around yellow for real. Okay, and 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 like I said, now that seems to be us. Uh, that phase seems to be ushering out. You seem to be pulling now more of a big extra plug. Uh, old boy Prince, them. Yeah. Uh, the, these songs are moving for sure faster than anything else anybody for else sure. is doing. I ain't never seen nothing like this. So, what do you think? What do you think this takes us to? Um, I'm gonna keep working, and I I want to keep working with other people. Like I wanna I wanna get the whole city one of these, like one of these records, or just you know what I'm saying. And I wanna be the one that people say, man, fresh came through and, and blessed everybody. Wow, 
do you think that do you feel like you you doing everything in, in, that you supposed to be doing at this time at this moment um no nah, i don't why because it's a lot of stuff that i'm not doing that i feel like i could be doing that i'm just not doing like a lot of this stuff it's either the old seed i didn't plant it or because it's god i'm gonna give it to god but I'm not. This whole time, I've never been 100% on no rapping. Like, I'm either behind my partner. Like, I was behind Ronnie. Like, I was his, uh, uh, like, promoter or hype man. I was putting out songs, but I still was pushing him like like he was the only artist. Or, like, like I've been doing that for so long. Even when I got on my own, I didn't never put 100% in the rap. Like, 50% rap, the other 50%, I'm trying to get some money doing something else. So I never put my whole all into this. Never, ever. And you had the first song with Lil Ronnie like that. Yeah. But you wasn't you wasn't giving it your all. I was with Lil Ronnie. I just happened to get on the song. Like, basically, yeah. How dope is Lil Ronnie though? Do you think he's underrated? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like everybody that know who Lil Ronnie is, the way they post to, they give him like he's dope. Like I don't, I think the people that don't know he's dope just don't know about him all the way. Like okay. they just might heard this or heard that. They sleep on him, but if you if you into Lil Ronnie, you know he dope. Same with me. If you into me, you already know what time it is. A lot of people just don't know. I got hidden from a lot of people. They don't love y'all. Somebody ain't love you enough to tell you about me. Wow. You feel me? Yeah, I like it, man. So, <clears throat> if you could sum it all up, like, what would you want people to remember you by? If if if, if somebody did a documentary on you, on um, being selfless, like taking a back seat, bro. Like I'm. As long as I get to be in the car, bro, I'll take the back seat. Like, y'all, you can ride shotgun, you could drive, you could you could do the GPS. Like, I'm good, like, I ain't tripping. As long as I'm in the car with y'all, as long as this thing getting where it's going, as long as we all safe, I ain't gotta be the king of the jungle, bro. Just let me be one of the monkeys or something. Give me give me your artist, the, the artist you, you've seen, it don't have to be in Dallas, that you feel like doing a great job and could be the next big artist. It could be a youngster or an older person. I um, sent to the artist. She from she from Fort Worth. I don't know if you heard of her. She really gutter artist. Okay. Gutter TV. And when gutter come in here and say, hey, what's up with Santa? It could be like, yeah. So Santa so is, is the she one. She coming. She coming. You think she's next up? She coming, yeah. She coming. For sure. Santa. Sent to the artist. Sent to the artist? Yeah. Wow. That's a different name, right? Mm -hmm. She dope. Man. Um... Anything, did we did we leave out anything? Anything um, you want the people to know? Man, I think we got everything. Bouncing when she walked, doing what it do. Thank God I got my own motion out now. Um, man, hey, I appreciate y'all for letting me get on y'all And we appreciate man. you. This your platform, brother. Like <laughs> I said, anytime you you know already, if I, I know you be waiting on me to call you because I be busy, but yeah, yeah. if I'm able to, you always welcome to this platform. Yeah. You one of the guys, for some reason, I got a special place for you. Appreciate um, it, bro. It's certain ones I do that with, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm always rock out with you, no matter what. It. It's so, all I love, man. Yeah. I appreciate y'all for letting me come get on y'all mics. You know, I ain't no viral, viral person, so some nobody people Nobody cares about you. that. <laughs> don't say nobody. Say y'all. No, don't. us. Yeah, I mean, I don't care nothing about nothing yeah. nobody else doing. Because all these other people, man, they they, they cloud chasing. Like, you know, if you if you don't get a lot of views, they don't want you. Like, Rainwater, Charleston White type of people, they don't even want to interview you if you ain't bringing in views like them. That's not how we roll. Real time. I feel nah, like nah, I appreciate we grow together. That. I appreciate y'all. Like you've been on here. I told you the first time. Like when you come back next time, it's gonna be better. You remember me telling you my biggest next time, ones too. I said as we keep going, people gonna grow a relationship with you. That's what we do here. Real talk. So you just a part of our whole inner circle, right? And mm -hmm. I ain't never had an interview do like fifty k like y'all do <laughs> stuff like that, like, bro. It don't happen. Man, people tell me that all the time. Shout out to KLC, man. I seen you at his place last time. How yeah. dope is KLC, yeah, man? Yeah, man. man see, KL I, is dope, bro. I've been around KL so much because he 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 was mystical DJ. So he every was. time he quiet, he all to himself. When me and mystical kicking it, he over there just to himself. So like KL, the cool dude, and I appreciate them. KL and them brought me out for that show. They put me on the bill. I performed at that show. Wow, I yeah. didn't need, cause we got there a little late. Yeah, so it was all New Orleans legends on that show, but then. Uh, so it was this dude Paco Tries Claire. That's my boy. He up under them. Yeah, he is. And then me. That's hard, man. Man, that's hard. I guess I ask him this because we've been asking people, how big would it be? And we've been campaigning for for this to see Birdman and Master P on Boss Talk One One at the same time. Oh, that'll be huge. 
<laughs> oh, that'll be huge. That'll be crazy. That's Just cool. for a sit down. Just for a sit down. Hey, y'all gonna do a me in the first day. What? <laughs> I swear. <laughs> it's our idea. We we just always talk about it because it could happen, but we would love to see them, you know, because we bring people together. Yeah. And then New Orleans means so much to us because we've been there. We go down there. We set up cameras. We deal with everybody. Shout out to all them boys from Kunta to uh, J. Merck to G. D. Do you know G. D.? Yeah, I know G. D. P. Man, hey, J. Merck was supposed to be on the song that that I put Big X on. Really? Yeah. He go hard too. I like J. Merck, man. Yeah, yeah. he been through a lot. I know. I man, I heard his story. My song is oh, called you see Good my- to Me. God been good to me. When I first seen his story. I had the song already, and I and I I contacted GD to put him on it, and then they gave me their price, and I had I thought about it because I was gonna gonna pay it because he had just got out of jail. I'm like, okay, that's cool. That would help. Look out for bro. But then you know, on the flip side of it, I'm like, man, he, I don't know. Like I think dudes should mess with this. Yeah. And I I thought about it. I sat on it, and then it was like, whatever, whatever, like. Maybe next time I'm gonna come to him later, but I wound up getting Big X for like that same type of number, and I had to. Well, it, it can happen again later on when GD come. He's coming to the show sometime or another in a few weeks. I'm for gonna sure. get you back over here for sure. Yeah, and nah, him I'm and J Merck, man, I, I'm gonna rock out with them the same way. For sure, we rocking this thing. Yeah, man. Nah, I love GD. I love his passion for the city. I love he very, what he doing. The spokesman. Like, do you think he em- embrace? Do you think he deserves that title as spokesman? He do. He does. Yeah. He do, cause he he working for it, and ain't nobody else trying to do it or picking it up. He picked it up and put it on his back, so that was up. Like, like I I love what GDP doing. Even before everybody start realizing when Say Cheese first start posting, I'm like, man, who is this dude? Like, he was sitting there just giving the facts. At first, it was looking like everybody took from New Orleans. Everything he used to say, like, man, New Orleans started that. New Orleans started that. I'm like, I like this dude. <laughs> Y'all get that from New Orleans? I'm like, yes, yeah, sir. Like, yeah. I'm like, okay, G. Man, I love it, man. <laughs> okay, um, man, I, I, I actually just, I, I, I enjoy it. I love it, bro. So you guys are, are, are special, man, to me. That's why I always, I always bring y'all on the show because sure. you know, GDU, you, uh, and then all my, all my Dallas, my, my Dallas peeps, man. Everybody in the East, East Texas. All, this is for the South, man. So yeah. Houston, you know, I be Shout with Mama Chose Scott, and all Texas. that. East Texas, Mama, Mama Scott, Scott, what's up? Uh, uh, but like I said, Chose yeah. in Houston, yeah, yeah. Uh, a propane, yeah. look, Kiki, like all. I be trying to just bring this whole bring thing together. together, nigga. I'm a whirlwind. Imagine that. Thing. Imagine that. Imagine <laughs> Texas really coming together. Yeah, Texas, Louisiana, and Louisiana, and, and just. That that's live for me, so that's what I'm here for. Imagine that. that's what I do. Yeah, Bob think Stop. about it. Think about it for sure. That's, that's what that the is. whole game. That's what that is. So man, thank you for coming on the show, man. Um, man, make hey guys, make sure y'all like, subscribe to our channel. Make sure you follow Mike Fresh. How can I get a hold of you? M Y K Fresh on every every platform. If you could type something in, type in M Y K F R E S H, and I'm right there. Thank you for coming on our show, man. Like I said, man, what you, what do you think about Mike Fresh? With the, to sum it all up, love it. Dope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, child, thank man. you so much for that music. Keep breaking that music. I'll be back too. Man, hey, listen, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. And we out.